Hey, what's up, Internet? Would you look at that? A Ryobi 480E electric riding mower with a lithium iron phosphate server rack battery. It may not be ideal, but it does work. And in this video, well, yes, <laughs> in this video, I I'll tell you about what I did, how I did it, why you likely should not do it, and then I'll go over a better solution. Stick around. Bow. What I did was this. You can see I slid the bottom rack that the holds the lead acid batteries back some, and then I used some decent, like, heavy duty self-tapping screws and screwed it all into place and then uh, set the server rack battery on the back and uh, strapped it down with tie downs. It's on there pretty snug. Yeah, and I used the original Anderson plug and wiring and also extended those with some of the wiring that Signature Solar included with the server rack battery. And that's what you're looking at here. Oh yeah, I put some electrical tape around the connections of the wires too. Yeah, and that's the best I could come up with for uh, just slapping it together without any deep, dedicated design thought or anything. Just a couple hours chucking some stuff together with what I already had. Yeah, I was channeling MacGyver, okay? Join me sometime. Yeah, it'd be great if the battery would fit where the batteries normally go, but the server rack battery is just too big by just like a couple inches. Yeah. Since my uh, gas ride-on mower is broken, I've resorted to my backup push mowers. Um, or this, uh, which I have used this setup twice now to mow my lawn, and it works. I'm likely not going to do this permanently, but it is a working mode for the time being. Uh, the mower is weak. Like, look at it bogged down here. I'm trying to cut down about an inch of grass, so I am going, like, trying to cut off a decent amount of grass. But, uh, that Toro would have ripped through this, but it's also, like, 750 cc engine so <laughs> it's a lot of power yeah just doing some math uh at 5,000 watts draw which this battery could give or or i guess the other the original one also would potentially give uh, per like the fuse it's 100 amps um it, that's a little under seven horsepower of power and i know doing like a gas equivalent of horsepower versus uh just a direct power here isn't quite fair because there's a lot of things going on with a gas mower than there is with this, but as Ryobi, it's not winning any speed or power awards to begin with. So if you're looking at getting this, like, cause you got a big lawn, like a really big lawn, probably look at something more powerful. Okay, moving on. Should you do this or not with this server battery? Probably no, but there is a separate and similar solution. I'm gonna go over the issues with this and then a uh, uh, solution. Issue number one, this is not the intended use uh, for this style of battery. So it may not be able to handle the constant moving around. Uh, second, the ethernet ports or any of the switches or lights on the battery, they can they need to be covered up or else dust and dirt and stuff can get in. Mm -hmm, that'd be bad. Uh, third, you cannot just turn on the battery and then turn on the key to the mower. I don't know if there's like a current rush or something, battery or the mower, but it, it doesn't like it. it like the battery ends up popping an error. Um, so in order to turn it all on, you need to first switch the mower key to on and then switch the battery on. That lets the battery do its cycle that includes the pre-charge resistor, and then it'll all work. Fourth issue is the balance of the mower. It's quite silly at this point. While this 100 amp hour server rack battery is less weight than the 100 amp uh, lead acid battery that came with the mower, it's all hanging off the back there. So going up hills is more dangerous than it was before. Uh, yeah, center of gravity is off. Fifth issue is the original charger doesn't provide the precise top voltage and uh, likely should not be used to charge this server rack battery. Plus, the plug is blocked. Anyway, yeah, what I'm trying to say is that charging needs to be figured out if you go this route. <sighs> but yeah, this right here, this is a better choice than the server rack battery. And from the same company too. It's worth mentioning, this video is not sponsored. Nobody gave me money or batteries. So anyways, same company, Signature Solar. They got these lithium iron phosphate, 48 volt sealed batteries for marine use. Different size than the server rack batteries and specs. So max discharge is 200 amps, max charging is 50 amps. Yeah, and I just measured it in uh, 9.125 inches. If that's the correct height of the marine battery, then it will fit in the original battery bay of the Ryobi mower. And I would do this if I had to, but I don't have to. Even though the battery is on sale right now, around fifteen hundred bucks, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that upgrade myself, <laughs> uh, unless I magically acquire one of these batteries at zero cost. 
because money. But if I do, yeah, then I'll, I'll make a video about it. I'm making this video to try to help you uh, figure out if you should upgrade your mower using a server rack battery. And again, you probably shouldn't do it. But um, yeah, yeah, I guess you could dismantle one and put like the insides in the space where the original batteries go. But yeah, be careful if you do that. The marine battery is probably the best option that I'm aware of for the price and the energy. You may though have to get something with regards to the startup. And I've seen people on the forums talk about it. It was confusing, but it might not just be a plug and play. Anyway, what do you think? What would you do if you had Ryobi riding mower that needed new batteries and was out of warranty? Or what have you done? Maybe you, you've got one of these. Why so much Ryobi on my channel lately? <laughs> just because. Why is it correctly pronounced Ryobi? Hmm? Anyway, I'm just, yeah, I'm just trying to make videos. I'm trying to get back into it, you know? Got a lot of Ryobi stuff. Anyway, I hope that helped. See you later, internet.